Steel Nation on fire. John Rise Plumley said he would return kicks if that guarantees him a roster spot. Hey man, shout out to John Rice. He's been out there at them little uh, football camps too, man. Cool little cat, man. Um, you seen him running in uh, what's that? You you see this last year? I like that mentality. Yeah, he can run, bro. He's. An I think athlete. it's different for him than a Fields. Oh yeah, night and day. Definitely different. Heck but yeah. I'm all for it. Whatever. I mean, he ran a four four something, and he could bring that element that we liked about potentially having Fields mm-hmm. back there and being able to like throw the ball across the field. Mm-hmm. I'd be fine with it. Yeah. Sure. I'd test it out. Why not? Yeah. I would like to see it in the preseason. Because my only concern is those hits are going to be, whew, potentially. But for him, man, what do you got to lose? Because he's, I mean, not buried on the depth chart, but you think you got three dudes that have already taken game reps, have started in this league. Two of these dudes, we we're, you know, very, very excited about their future, you know, future being with us potentially. So it's like for John, that gives him an opportunity, man. It gives him something. He's in the more you can do face. Ain't that wrong Part with of his that. career. Ain't that right. Look, I, ain't that wrong with that. Yeah, I don't know how open he'd be to receiver and stuff, receiver and tight end and all that. Because yeah. I do remember him <laughs> saying that the reason he signed with the Steelers is because we view him as a as quarterback. As a quarterback. Mm-hmm. Now, I do think returning kicks is a little bit different than getting offensive packages where you're playing receiver in all these different positions, taking yeah. on a slash role. So maybe he could still be exclusively quarterback, but then just have this little niche of returning kicks too. <clears throat> I think for him, man, too, it's the uh, the sense of when we were talking about Justin Fields and it's like, man, when you start opening up that door to being a slash – you can very well become that full time and never be viewed as a quarterback or never get another legitimate opportunity to play quarterback. I feel even stronger, you know, about that. If John Rise is the one that starts doing some of this gadget stuff, he'll easily turn into a Taysom Hill. I could easily could be see good that. For him. I would agree. Unless his dream is to play quarterback. Because if his dream is to play quarterback, kind of like Tim Tebow, we were like, yo, you could play tight end and you probably could be a really good tight end. But his dream was quarterback, and that was the big reason why he waited so long to transition. I feel like Terrell Pryor was similar also early on, wanting to play quarterback. Eventually, was like, you know, I play wide receiver. And we saw him have success there. But for some dudes, it's like, you know, if this is what they, you know, identify as, nah, I ain't trying to go there. But if that's like, you know, the position that they identify that they feel most comfortable in, that could just be that, you know, they don't want to go and try these other stuff. They want to, you know exhaust all these opportunities here. again i think if that's fields or four fields that's the right approach to go like right now but with <laughs> john rice probably you're the fourth quarterback and you're undrafted you think john i can think do it? i think beat him out? with steeler nation on fire here said on this comment and that Plumley would be open to returning kicks i think that's the right approach i think you should do that say, Yo, fields no be yeah smart. fields you're, you're the backup here we just traded for you <laughs> I think we still view you as a quarterback. I think a lot of teams around the league still view you as a potential I quarterback. Would agree. Uh, more on like the long term side. You had the hiccup in your first three years with the Bears here. Yeah. Now that this is a good spot to reset. So if you yeah, if you start doing all this extra stuff, you, you could be putting yourself in a bad spot. Now I, I still think that Fields has enough juice still. He's still young enough in his career that if he does do some packages, if he did do some kick returns, mm-hmm. teams would view him as a quarterback next off season still okay especially if he plays good like i don't think that's going to be held against him i mean but this is the thing you know deke if you see him look electric as a slot wide receiver on some gadget packages and you've never seen him look that consistent throwing the football how do you tell yourself i would want to move him back when i've just seen him do something that i had never seen him do i think yeah i think that's different uh if we're just putting him at one position but okay I, i would think that we're putting him behind center and maybe sometimes he rolls out and motions to receiver and i still think predominantly if we got him out there he would be at quarterback that would be my guess at least like wildcat type of stuff at least yeah see i look at it differently i look at it like in the sense of you're you're going to use him in tandem with russ russ is still directing it but if you're throwing it almost like double pass type situations like I want to see you on the move in that slot. I want to see you lined up in that backfield. I want to see, you know, what it looks like if it's yeah. you, Najee, Cordell Patterson, or you, Cordell Patterson, and Jalen Warren or something. Like, what does that look like? 
and you still got rest to do that can get anywhere out here as well, man. Yeah, then you might be starting to do fields of disservice mm -hmm. by doing that. But he would still thrive, though, because of how athletic he is and the profile that he as has. As long as it's, and I said this before, as long as it's not taking snaps away from him playing quarterback, like the typical snaps he would mm -hmm. be taking this offseason. If it's just yeah. in addition, okay, not the end of the world. Yeah. But, yeah, with Rise Plumley, this would be cool. <laughs> Say Rise. Good approach. Rise, you're not Phil. You got to know who you are. You know who you are. If you're Justin Fields, you're a quarterback. Stay in that quarterback room. Giant Rise, whatever you could do to get on that moving train, They're man. They're talking about balls actually kicking off. Shout out. All right. Well, cause, was it, it needs to bulk up a little. Was it me and you or was it me, you, and TG when we were talking about how many teams we think are going to have? Uh, yeah, we said like TG four or five right? yeah. to start the season. Mm-hmm. Because like you're going to go through some different strategies, yeah. Like, I'm sure you're going to have the ones that are trying to sky it and have it dropping right on that, you know, in between the five and the one-yard line type convo. I don't really think there's going to be a ton of incentive for dudes to want to just kick it out the back of the end zone. We talked about that because of how the rules are changed. And then um, you got the other side where it's like it's all well and good until that guy has to tackle. And there is a strong possibility with the new format that that kicker is going to have to tackle somebody, man.